Welcome to this fourth and final video on chapter seven of my iOS development book for absolute beginners. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the stepper control and a simple scenario of building a stepper control. So we'll create a new project in Xcode. We'll make it a single view application. And we'll call this stepper control test. You can set your organization and company for whatever you like, but make sure class prefix is empty and device is set for iPhone. Once we do this, make sure we store it on the desktop and that the source control checkbox is unchecked. Click Create and the project will be created for you. So for our user interface, I'm going to open main.storyboard and I'm going to add a stepper control to it. I come down to the controls palette, I type stepper and stepper is here for me. Then I can drag it and I can drop it on my UI, something like this. In addition to this, I need to add a couple of labels. So I'm going to find the label and I'm going to drag it and drop it. And I'm using the guides to make sure it's aligned nicely. Move label out like so. And I'm going to change its text to something like how many eggs. And why not? And then I'm going to add another label here that says, I'm going to make it a little larger. And then I'll set its text to be, you have zero eggs. Okay, that's pretty much it. And now my application, whenever I press plus, it's going to add to the number of eggs that I have. And if I press minus, it's going to reduce the number of eggs that I have. So that tells you that I need to have an outlet for this label so that I'll be, I can manipulate the label from within my code. I need to have an action for the stepper control so that I need to know if the stepper control has moved up or down. All right, so let's take a look. Just move this out of the way. And of course, I forgot I need an outlet for the stepper control as well so that I can read its values. So if I just size this so I can see things, make sure that my assistant is on viewcontroller.h. can resize this a little bit. So I'm going to create an outlet for this label. I'm going to call that LBL output. I'm going to create an outlet for the stepper. I'm just going to call it STP stepper. These names probably aren't the greatest, but you get the point. And I'm going to create an action for the stepper. And the value changes. I'm just going to say step changed would be the name of the action. So now I can go back to my code and I can write some code that lives in here. So now what happens is that the, the stepper control itself has a value associated with it. I don't need to um, keep my own separate value for the number of eggs. I can just take a look at the stepper controls value. So I could say something like int number of eggs equals underscore the stepper control I called stp stepper dot value. And now my label output text I'm going to set to you have something eggs. So lbl output dot text equals and if you remember earlier when we were talking about ns strings and string with format we can create a new string using a format and that string will be you have percent d eggs where the type of value that comes out of here as i hover over it or as i let me go and type it stepper dot value you see is a double and it's d for double so you have percent d eggs comma number of eggs like so so now let me run the application and we'll take a look at what happens here's my app with my stepper and as i click plus i get more eggs and as i click minus i get less eggs and one thing that's very nice is that once it reaches zero this becomes disabled so that I can't go down to negative one, negative two eggs, etc. So I can just move up and down like so. I can customize this by looking at the attributes inspector. So if I go up to the attributes inspector for the egg counter or for the stepper, we can see that I have a value as minimum zero, maximum 100. The current value that I start with is zero and the step is one. So for example, I could change the step to two and run the application again and you'll see I count in doubles instead of in singles. So two eggs, four eggs, six eggs, eight eggs, etc. 
So you can customize your uh, stepper in this way. And as you can see with this code, it's very, very straightforward and easy for you to set up an action for the value changed and set up an outlet for it itself so that you can query its value. And that's it for the stepper control. Very straightforward, very simple video. Hope you've enjoyed and hope you can go and build some great apps using these controls. Thanks.